So the first product that we'll be using is the Ancient Egyptian Anti-Breakage and Repair Antidote Cuticle Control Leave-In Conditioner from The Main Choice. It's very good with making sure your hair is moisturized, there's very little breakage, and as you can see, this is what it looks like once the hair is detangled after just using a leave-in conditioner. The next product that we'll be using for this twist out is the Ancient Egyptian 24 Karat Gold Twisting Gel, which is also by The Main Choice. And the consistency of this gel is very sticky. It's really good for twist outs because you don't really need to use anything else with it. It's also very moisturizing. The moisture in this product is really good for those of us who hair dries out really quickly. The very first thing that I always do is separate my hair into sections so that it's a lot easier to work with and manage. The next thing you're going to do is spray water all over the section that you're working on. You want to make sure it's heavily saturated with water so that your leave-in conditioner will be effective and your twisting gel will have a lot of slip which makes for very defined and tight curls. Make sure you apply the leave-in conditioner to all areas of that first section. Now we're gonna get to the style. I usually just grab a small section to twist. I don't really part my hair first because I'm going to comb out the parts anyway or pick them out at the end. Next, you wanna apply your twisting gel. Make sure you apply it again evenly throughout. You can brush it or you can comb it through. If your hair is not saturated with water, just go ahead and spray more water on it. Next, you'll just split that small section into two pieces and then start to twist one part over the next part. This is a really easy natural hairstyle. It's great for naturals who are just beginning because it's really easy to do. And if you have the right products, you can get great definition. So here it is in a slow speed for anybody who is not sure exactly how to do a twist out. The most crucial part of these twist outs is this twist at the end. Just twist it around your finger and boom, done. So we're going to speed it up a bit, but essentially you repeat those same steps all over your whole head and you will achieve a good twist out. Take one section, wrap it around another section and do that all the way down until you get to the end. The size of your twists are very important. If you want to have um, the maximum amount of definition and you know that your hair is not that long, you definitely want to do small to medium sized twists all over your head. While bigger twists may take a lot less time to do, you don't get the maximum amount of definition. So that's why I'm doing small to medium sized twists. Quick recap, before you start twisting, make sure you use your leave-in conditioner as well as detangle whatever section it is that you're about to twist. Um, also wet the hair again if you need more slip or you wanna have more product on the hair to hold it. In any event, you wanna make sure you have that leave-in conditioner on before you start applying your twisting gel. So once it's all said and done, you'll look something like this. Um, it's not sexy, but it will get the job done. I let my hair air dry overnight. I slept on a satin pillowcase. So I'm about to apply the Kaleidoscope hair drops to my hair. I've been using them to help grow back some areas that are damaged. It has been helping. Basically, I just put it on my hair and then massage it into my scalp a couple of times a week. Next up is the Miel Organics Mint Almond Oil. It's a really good lightweight oil that I usually use to take my hair down. I did not put any oil on it when I was applying the main choice products. So usually I use the Neo Organics to kind of put some oil or a little bit of shine back into my hair. I'm just unraveling the twist now. I usually take my time and do it carefully. If you just pull them out you're not going to have the definition that you want. Um, you kind of want to unravel them and then separate them and then pick them out um, to achieve whatever volume you want for your hair. Normally, after a twist out, my hair would be like really dry from the products used. Surprisingly, I did not have that problem at all with this collection. 
I've used their shampoo and conditioner before as well as their hair mask and it was all very good and very moisturizing. That's why I was pretty confident in not having to apply any oil with the products this time. Once you're done taking the twist out, you're going to then separate the hair so that you can have more volume and to make it appear thicker. Now there are different ways to separate hair. Sometimes I do it at the natural line of separation. Sometimes I just go based off of feel. I knew how big I wanted it to be in a couple of days, not on this particular day. So I didn't separate based on the natural line of separation this time. So with separating hair, you do what works for you. If you want the hair to stay really defined, do it really tight curls, you won't separate it or pick it as much. But if that's not really a big deal to you and you just want to have uh, bigger hair regardless of definition, then you can separate as much as you want and fluff as much as you want until you get the desired look that you want to have. I usually just separate until I get the big hair that I want to have and pick until I get the hair that I want to have. And so to do that, in some cases, I do sacrifice definition in a lot of areas, but it really doesn't matter to me because I wash my hair once a week. So none of this stuff is going to last longer than seven days. Once you're done separating your hair, then you're going to get your handy dandy afro pick and go ahead and just pick your hair right at the roots. Um, I have a separate video that I'll link in the description box that explains how to pick your hair. You just pick it until you get it as big as you want it to be. I say this with love, pick your hair. We are not doing flat pros in 2019. That is not a thing. It's never been a thing. Pick your hair out and have you a good, nice fro. You deserve it. You don't necessarily have to get carried away and overpick like I do. I overpick a lot because I don't really care about definition at my roots. I know a lot of people like to have their hair more defined all the way down so that they can have that longer look. I don't care about that. And now to the holy grail of edge control. This is my favorite edge control. If you follow me on social media, you know that this is my go-to edge control for all of my styles. With the exception of puffs, I use Eco Styler. But this one lasts for a long time. It lasts you all day. It's a really good edge control. You can research it on your own to see if you like it. Now you just lay your edges. As you can see, my hair is still pretty soft and manageable. The product did not make it hard or crunchy, but it definitely has definition that will hold. So it's a really good product. I highly recommend it to anybody interested in purchasing it. Well, that is it. That is all I did to achieve this really defined, super easy two strand twist out. I hope you enjoyed this video and most importantly, I hope that it helps. All of the products used are linked in the description box. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow me on social media.